Hi, this is Mike Hendrickson from Strata Hadoop World in New York City. I'm here with Joe Russell. Joe, how are you doing? Good, Mike. So you're with VMware. I am. And VMware has a lot of virtualized um, solutions, and one of them is a virtualized to-do. Can you talk to us a little bit about why someone would want virtualized to-do? Yeah, so one of the things we VMware um, have been doing for quite some time is, is this notion of virtualizing uh, application workloads. And so one of the things that, that we've made a transition towards is becoming more than just virtualization. So one of the, our, our key taglines is this notion of a software-defined data center. And it's really about abstracting, pooling, and automating resources from physical to logical. And so when we look at the Hadoop workload, we view it as a very fast-growing, relevant, emerging enterprise application workload that we think runs best on a virtual platform. Okay, and so if it's on a virtual platform, are you still gonna get the speed performance that, that you would expect or need? So one of the things that, that a big myth about virtualizing Hadoop is, is performance. Um, that in some way, shape, or form, you're introducing uh, an additional layer into the into the stack that's going to degrade performance. And so we've actually done quite a bit of performance testing. We've actually contributed some code back to the Apache Hadoop community um, to basically make sure that you're getting on par performance with that of a of a bare metal deployment. So um, what that contribution is called is called HV Hadoop Virtual Extensions, and so it was accepted in the 1.2. Um, code release for Apache Hadoop. Um, so it's available in all the major distributions. But what it does is it essentially preserves data locality. So when you virtualize Hadoop, what you're essentially doing is you're, you're splitting the relationship between compute and data or storage. And so what this does is it gives the uh, cluster topology awareness of where the physical data resides um, across your node set. And so when, when the system assigns um, compute functions out to their individual worker nodes, you're able to assign duties that are proximate to where the data actually resides, reducing the, the latency yeah. around that. Yeah, so is, is virtualized uh, solutions, are, are those right for enterprises right now? Because I, I can see them perfectly well for a startup or a small company, but is it good for a big, large enterprise right now? The virtualized solutions are actually better for an enterprise than they are for an SMB. Um, that isn't to say, I mean, they're good for both, but in so much as giving you management ability at scale, one of the things we do around Hadoop is we make it very simple to use. We maximize your resource utilization. And then we, we allow you to build a scalable platform that lasts for many years. And we think those are all enterprise class features. When you look at the workloads that are virtualized today, you, know, you see a lot of databases that are virtualized. And so this is a logical extension. You know, we see Hadoop as a seminal technology that's going to dramatically transform the relational database market. So there are probably a few detractors out there saying that why would you want to virtualize Hadoop when you can have Hadoop on a machine that's streaming fast. What would you say to them? Or wh wh why, are, why are they like saying that it's not as good or it's different? Or I think part of it is it has to do with the nascency of the technology. If you think about the, the adoption life cycle of Hadoop within the enterprise, we really think about it in three key stages. The first is a test and dev stage where you're essentially piloting the technology. You're playing around with it. You're trying to see if it applies to your particular business, whether it be to reduce costs or increase efficiency. The second stage is around production, right? And so that translates, or that, that introduces a whole new set of, of things you have to think about. Um, and then the third stage is really scale. And so one of the things is we see the majority of the market still in that test and dev phase. So we're talking about running 10 to 20, 10 to 20 nodes in a cluster. You know, when you deploy on bare metal, that's still manageable from a, from a management standpoint. It's what happens after that, as you scale to 100 and thousands of nodes, that's where you really need that logical framework to help manage and, and basically utilize your cluster resources efficiency. So the argument then is it's, it's probably more um, efficient for an enterprise to adopt a virtualized solution rather than... Yeah, I, I think the majority of enterprises do virtualize all applications. Applications yeah. are yeah. rarely run bare metal these days. We think Hadoop is no different. 
Okay. And so we, uh, we've, we've been doing quite a bit of work at VMware to make that a reality. Excellent. Well, Joe, I hope we see you at future Strata Hadoop Worlds. Thank you, Thank Mike. Thank you.